was working at Harvard Medical School, I became very familiar with the program in adolescent medicine there. And it was very clear to me that adolescents had a set of healthcare needs which were really different than younger children. My colleagues at Harvard had told me that Mount Sinai was one of the centers of adolescent medicine, had a great history of adolescent medicine going back to the 1960s. So it was really quite simple for us with our twin adolescents to uh, turn to Mount Sinai. But adolescent medicine has always been a tough sell uh, at academic medical centers. And the reason is that adolescents generally don't use the hospital. They don't require high-tech expensive services that are valuable to the hospital. In uh, many communities, such as the ones served by the Adolescent Health Center, there are underprivileged populations that are not well insured. So from an economic point of view, there is nothing about adolescent health, which is particularly attractive. Notwithstanding that, adolescent health is important. As an educator, um, I viewed the center as really a wonderful place because in order to do well academically, you need to be healthy. To have a place like uh, the center where kids could go free and get their health care, that from my perspective made them better students and so sort of worked hand in hand with my profession as well. In addition, places like this are incubators for ideas and new knowledge and research and new approaches to managing issues related to adolescence. This place, the Adolescent Health Center, is a core component of the intellectual capital of Mount Sinai Medical Center from the point of view of excellence in care, excellence in training, and service to the community.